Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and this podcast is going to continue on with the what is rock theme types of rocks, and specifically igneous rocks, and we'll get into um, how they're formed, differences between intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. So as you can probably guess, igneous rock is formed from magma or lava, and magma and lava are really the same thing, uh, except magma is what you call lava that hasn't erupted, and lava is magma that has erupted onto the surface. So um, if you form the igneous rock um, intrusively, that would be these examples here where the magma has you know, cooled uh, you know, without having erupted. So you've got rock in there you know, that has pierced through the sedimentary layers of what's called country rock, rock that was there to begin with. Um, then you've got intrusive. And likewise, if you get lava erupting out of volcano and then cooling on the surface, um, such as all the rock here that is you know, making up the volcano, um, the layers of rock there, then you're going to have extrusive igneous rock. So two types, intrusive and extrusive, depending on if it's magma or lava that is cooled. So here's a pretty sweet example of an intrusive igneous rock. Um, it's called a batholith, which um, bathos means depth and lithos means rock. So this is rock that was formed in the depths. Um, this one's called Half Dome. It's in Yosemite National Park. And um, basically it formed under the ground as magma cooled over a long period of time. And then it has since been eroded at the surface to be, have been exposed. Um, typically batholiths are very solid, made out of granite, and uh, they're going to erode away slower than the rest of the surface. So um, that's why it's so visible to us today. Yeah, so here's an example of extrusive igneous rock forming. So, you know, lava erupting at the surface and cooling. Um, could be ash also um, that cools as well to form extru extrusive igneous rocks. So extrusive igneous rocks all look a little different depending on how they formed. Um, some of them are going to form so quickly that, you know, they are actually showing air bubbles and gas bubbles in them as they cooled. Um, other ones, uh, you know, kind of different looking as uh, obsidian glass, a type of extrusive igneous rock. So let's briefly compare and contrast these two igneous rocks. The one on the left is diorite, and the one on the right is andesite. And now you don't need to know this, but they're actually both composed of exactly the same minerals, plagioclase, hornblende, and pyroxene. So chemically, they're the same, but they have different names, and they look different. So how can you tell the difference? Why do they look different? Well, one of them cooled as magma very slowly, and the other one cooled as magma that erupted into lava very quickly. So here's the deal. You can typically tell which one has cooled slowly. The one that has kind of larger crystal grains. So the diorite cooled very slowly. And the andesite probably erupted as lava and cooled very fast. All right. So depending on the rate of cooling, if it cools, you know, uh, in the in the earth very slowly, it's also then an uh, intrusive igneous rock versus very fast is going to be an extrusive igneous rock. 